click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. One day some of the companions, who still had the veins of enmity and ignorance in them, came to the messenger of God, peace be upon him, and said, O messenger of God, God wanted to choose his prophet from Arabia, and this is the crown of pride that we will be proud of till the day of judgment. We all know that Abu Dhar and Salman are both from you, but Abu Dhar is from Arab descent and Salman is from non-Arab descent. We have seen that you respect Salman more, and love him more than Abu Dhar. But do not think that we are jealous of Salman, no it's not. But we want to know why there is so much attention. The Holy Prophet listened to their words, he sent a man to Abu Dhar and Salman and called them. The Prophet gave one dirham to Salman and one dirham to Abu Dhar. And he said to them, Go, Go and, and spend, spend what, what you, you have been given. given. We are we here are waiting for you to come back and tell us where you spent your money. Abu Dhar and Salman obeyed the will of the Prophet and returned to him after some time. The Prophet said to his companions, Burn the stone and bring it to me. Everyone there was curious to see what his purpose was. The companions burned the stone and brought it to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. He said to Abu Dhar, O oh Abu Dhar, stand on this stone and tell me what happened to the money that was given to you. Abu Dhar stood on this burning stone and said, From this one dirham I took a little bread, a little date, a little raisin, and from the rest of the money some, some, some. Abu Dhar could no longer bear the heat of the rock, and hurried down. While his feet were in pain, the Prophet again ordered to burn the stone and then said to Salman, O oh Salman, now it's your turn, stand on the rock and tell me what about the money. Salman stood on the rock and said he gave the money to the needy, and very soon he came down from the rock. While his feet were not burnt, at that time the Prophet looked at his companions and said, now understand why I like Salman more, while he and Abu Dhar are both among the righteous. There was silence in the crowd. No one could speak against the Prophet in the face of this strong argument. In this way everyone understood the status and place of Salman.